everybody i hope everyone's doing well well today it is january 21st 2024 i almost said it uh and it is sunday it is sunday and i'm here to do my update for the week uh, my let's talk update for the week i really don't have much to share um i did uh, post a blog video for you guys i'll link that video right here if you want to check that out uh, we're gonna jump a little bit piggyback on that uh, i did that video on thursday i believe the 19th yeah and so i decided to vlog because i really want to bring you guys more into my day-to-day -day when it comes to this health quest that i am on uh, sh you know if it even if it's sharing you a little bit about ebay not so much the sales and things here on, on my health quest portion of my channel but uh, w the significance of eBay for me and I mentioned in that video that my whole point right now when it comes to eBay is just reducing my stress uh, because I have too much inventory way too much for me for one person you know and then to see all that there uh, all that inventory sitting there for months and months and months and months um, yeah so part of my whole stress reducing um, entails many different parts of my my life right not just relationships that I'm working on or uh, losing weight you know and things like that but also in my day-to-day -day stuff uh, even YouTube to a certain extent even YouTube I'm trying to be more organized when it comes to YouTube uh, I enjoy doing this this is not a stressful thing but I just I want to be more consistent you know and that's what I had said that I want to be more consistent and and show you more of my journey not just do these let's talks but show you during my week uh, and so for me being uh, organized in whether it be my computer or my phone or whatever it is uh, I'm more organized and I've been really working on that guys um, I mean I was pretty pretty organized but I mean, I am really, really always cleaning out my computer, making sure there's room, cleaning out my phone, putting things in albums in my phone. Like I said, I was already doing that, but now I'm doing it more detailed. And so this is just helping me move along quicker in, in, in my YouTube making, you know, whether it be my makeup portion of it and or here, um, everything has its little folder in my phone and it's just easy access. So when it comes to my eBay part of reducing the stress there is reducing my inventory and so this week I really well now for the past two weeks I've been in my store really working it and um, it feels really really good it really really does so there's that um, so please if you guys want to check out that video uh, I, sh I share with you what I eat and things like that so but let's go ahead and talk about that video. In that video, I had mentioned that I wasn't feeling too good. I kind of was feeling PMS, you know, and uh, guess what? Yesterday, it really hit hard, uh, really, really hard. Um, I was very much like I was going to get a cycle, um, emotional, crying, <laughs> not feeling very well, uh, very, ag you know, just everything that has to do with PMS, I pretty much was feeling it and I just didn't. I, I did things, I did do a lot, I accomplished a lot, but there was a certain point in my day where I was just like, I'm done, you know, and I don't know, I don't know what's going on. It, it seems like these episodes of PMS, I'm menopausal, uh, for those of you who are just coming onto my channel and seeing this video for the first time, I am menopausal. I've been now for what, two years, maybe going on three years now, three years. Um, so to have these symptoms come in a little bit more regular is, I don't know, <laughs> but I do remember my doctor said to me, you know, she said, you can have these up to five years out, you know, uh, as long as you're not actually having a cycle, you are okay. As long as you are not having a cycle. And so I'm not. And so it's just part of it, I guess, you know? So yesterday I didn't work out. I didn't, um, I had strain training on Friday. I did really, really hard strain training on Friday. I did really good cardio um, on Friday. Um, I did. Uh, and Saturday, I just said, you know what? <sighs> just, I'm done. So today, Sunday, I do have my Apple Watch on today. I'm hoping to get a little bit of a cardio in today. I don't like to do that on Sundays. Sundays, I just like to chill. But I'm feeling better. I really, really am. And I'm not here to try to catch up. I don't want to make up. That's not what I want to do. I, I'm not here to do that anymore. That Those days are over. You know where you overeat and then maybe you're like, okay, I got to double it up on my exercise or 
or you know you're going to go to a party and so you're like doubling it up on your workouts. That's not what this is about. Honestly, I just, my body, I don't know, it's really weird because it craves it. So I just have it on for today. It's it's not, I'm not going to meet 10,000 steps in my day. That's not what I'm aiming for. It just records what I'm going to do, the little bit that I'm going to do, and then I'll just put it in my planner. I like to have my planner show what I've done in my day. That's that's really all it is, guys, really. And if I decide not to work out today at the end of the day, I'm good with that too. It is Sunday, it's my day off. So yeah, I just, but my body feels really good today. And so I'm just like, you know, wanting wanting a little bit of workout. It's really weird. That, that part is really, really weird to me anyway. I'm not gonna strain train today, but uh, just how it really sort of craves that movement, you know, it, it's, it's weird. Uh, I, I, I'm not feeling 100% though in terms of PMS symptoms, but they're definitely on their way out for, at least for this episode of it. it it's just crazy. So there is that. Now I'm going to show you what I ate this morning. I decided to record a little, like I said, I want to show you guys more about what I eat, you know, actually show you these things. Okay. And so this morning I did not go to mass today. I did not make it to mass. Um, I don't like doing that, but anyway, uh, I did get up. See, right now I have a hot flash. Oh, yeah, I do. Give me one second. Okay, yeah, I have my cold water here, um, ice water. I tell you, when they hit, they hit. They've been hitting really hard. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I, I didn't go to mass, but um, this morning I wanted to um, bring you guys along into the kitchen. Um, I recorded what I ate for breakfast this morning, because I, like I said, I really do want to bring you guys more into my, my journey, just share here and there what I'm eating, um, to help my body with inflammation and help my body to, uh, help me with stress. Because I know that when I feel good, uh, really energetic and I'm not, my body's not fighting inflammation. Uh, I feel like I can tackle uh, other things in my life that are going on so much better. I hope that makes sense. And so it really feels good to eat this way for me, the keto, keto bore way for me. And so reducing the amount of car uh, ca carbs, or rather the amount of carbs for me is I want to see how low I can take it. Uh, and maybe not eat, I'm not trying to say I want to eat that way forever, but kind of incorporate more lower carb days and then add some vegetable kind of carb days. You know what I mean? And so I'm trying to show you that is what I'm saying. So this morning when I got up to make my omelet, I brought you guys with the kitchen to the kitchen with me, but uh, it's a little bit sped up um, just, just for the time's sake. So I'm going to show you that. Now you saw that it was split up in two uh, because it was it was pretty big, uh, but I entered the macros in as as if I ate it all at once, you know, for breakfast. Uh, but I am having the other one, the other piece for lunch. Um, it's going to be the same thing for lunch. I'm not adding any macros <laughs> to Carb Genius. I use the Carb Genius app, 
anyway that was really really good I really really liked it but it, it's a little bit of a carby kind of a day for me so it's good I had a little bit of onions and I had a little bit of broccoli and tonight uh, if you know I'm trying to stay within 15 grams on the real carby kind of a day uh, 15 grams or less is really what I'm aiming for and so I have plenty left and I don't aim to go use them all but if I have another little bit of broccoli later on today it'll be fine it'll be fine you know but uh, I'm trying to do that I think that helps you know um, break it up a little bit <laughs> trick my body also a little bit too and it's the broccoli is fine it the oxalates uh, in, the, in the broccoli are so low that it does not affect me in the least. So broccoli is a winner <laughs> for me. Onions is another thing I can have. It's perfectly fine. It's the ones with high oxalates that will make my stomach hurt and I can't have those or the lectins. That's why I don't ever put like tomatoes and things in there. So anyway, but I want to share that more with you guys. I want to bring you guys more into what I'm eating and, and my exercise. Too. All right. The other thing this week too, it was really, it was a tough week also in that it was my mom's birthday on the 17th. My mother passed away in December on December 10th of 2022. And, um, you know, it's, it's some days are really, really tough, um, really tough. Uh, and, and, but there, you know, I'm, I'm doing good, you know, when it comes to that, but it was her birthday and it was, it was a rough one this year. It was a rough one for me emotionally. Um, but you know, I, I managed to work out that day. I, let me see, I, Wednesday I did not strain train, but I really did really, really good because the cardio, that I had to do that day was with with weights. So it was a really good day. I, I mean, I stayed really good in my protein, really good in my carbs, and really good in my exercise challenge. So I did good. I did good. It was just emotionally a, a bit hard. All right. So now we're going to do a try on uh, for you guys. I'm going to show you my outfit and then... No, you know what? Let's do the weigh-in. Let's do the weigh-in before we end it with the try on. Okay. So uh, what I weighed in. All right. So let's go back to last week. I have everything written down here. Okay. So last week I was hitting the 184.2 for three solid weeks, December 31st, January 7th. And then what was it last week? <laughs> 14th, 14th, yeah, the 14th, uh, 184.2. I was just kept coming in there. kept coming in there and I'm like, okay, that's great. I solidified this. <laughs> that's all good. <laughs> But we, we must move on. And so this is what I weighed in this morning. Yeah, so we are at 181.6 and that is a 2.6 pound loss. We are so close to the 179, guys. We are so, so close. Uh, I cannot wait to get there. Um, Hopefully it's not going to be another three weeks of the 181s. I hope we're not going to stay here this for that long, but, uh, <laughs> but it, yeah, 181.6. I am actually one of the lowest weights that, well, from now on, every time I get, go down, it's, it's that I've been in a very, very long time, very, very long yeah. time. So, okay guys, um, let me go ahead and tell you really, really quickly what my challenges are going to be for this week. And then we'll do the little bit of the fashion show. This week, I do see some challenges. Um, I'm not sure if they're gonna pan out. Uh, my girlfriend, my best friend, the one that took me to the retreat, actually. I went to a retreat on December 8th, 9th, and 10th, and she was the one who sort of sponsored me for that retreat. Anyway, she's my best friend. I've known her since third grade. Um, she wants, uh, at, at her church, at that church that I went to for the retreat, actually, they're having a meeting, a meetup, a fellowshipping of sorts. And she called me up and she says, hey, do you want to come along? And I said, actually, I do. I do. However, she did sort of um, say, I, I, I may not be able to go. I'm not sure. Um, she does have somebody she takes care of at her home um, and he cannot be left alone. And so if her husband is not available, then she's not going to be able to go. And that's also going to pertain to on the 24th, we have we're going to go out to dinner. Okay. She's going to treat me to dinner and then I will treat her, but she's treating me, you know, alternating, but she's treating me on the 28th to dinner. Um, and she wants to go to red Robin. And, uh, again, that really will depend on her husband or another family member if they can watch 
the person that she she needs to be there has to be attended to the what i foresee i don't foresee anything on the 28th to be challenging uh she knows i'm on keto that's that's all good but the reunion uh there's always there's always food with tomatoes <laughs> it seems like lasagna spaghetti <laughs> salad salad oh the lettuce hurts me again this is really not about the keto aspect of it as much as it is the my stomach hurting and being in pain kind of thing and i don't know what kind of food they'll have in the couple of times that i've been in these situations honestly yeah there is a moment where they're like here you know come on you don't want to eat you know come on come on but then that all passes you know that moment passes and then you're just yapping it up and so yeah, um, that's really what it ends up being like. So I, when I say challenge, I kind of mean it in that way, that moment. <laughs> um, but yeah, as far as the, the Red Robin, that's no problem. I'm just going to order um, my hamburger patties and things like that. And I think that is everything as far as the actual update. So now let me go ahead and show you a couple of clips here, and then I'm going to actually show you what I've got on today, okay? So what you're going to be seeing is I had been making some let's talk videos that never got posted. Okay. And in each, there's going to be two, one, I'm talking about a pair of pants that you guys are going to recognize. And the other one is a top that I know you guys are also going to recognize. Cause I know I hauled it at some point. I'll put the date of when I wore those or the date that I made the video, um, the let's talk video. Okay. So they were very recent so as to not confuse you okay i just never posted the video i just never posted it in those videos i had shared the the nsv when it comes to you know my clothing after you see that we're going to come back okay so let me go ahead and let you see that so these are the pants the jeans i'm going to move over here so you could see here those are the ones that didn't fit um uh, was it Paisley and Sky size 16 and I couldn't even button them up I couldn't even I mean they just barely went up my thigh just barely um, but in my buttocks area it was hanging too low and now I'm gonna get rid of them it's time for them to go and so let me show you I have it tucked in okay because I want you to see how it looks so this is where the issue is right here on the arms it's fine I, I it's fine uh, fit me a lot better used to be really really tight especially on this arm used to be really really tight here uh, but I was still able to wear it uh, and now it's fine it's normal but it's going to be right here so tucking it in doesn't look too too bad so I'm going to go ahead and untuck it so you could see what I mean so I just feel like it's too, too boxy. <laughs> That's my, my word to describe it when they're too big for me. Um, yeah, I just tucking it in, it's kind of okay. Cause I can kind of cinch things, but yeah. And, uh, yeah, there's the back. All right, guys. So those pants are gone. They're actually gone. I don't know if I'm going to sell them. They're downstairs in my store right now. I'm going to do some research and see if it's worthwhile putting it up. The top, um, that's going to be going up this week. And so, uh, yeah, I'm going to sell it. And yeah. So it, yeah, when I wore it, I was like, whoa, this is too big. <laughs> now, these pair of pants that I'm going to show you right now, I did do a haul for you guys. I'm going to link what I will do is right now I'm going to put right here the actual video of me trying them on. Okay. These are an extra large and I believe they're Rachel and Zoe, I believe. Um, and they're an extra large, but they're a very, 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 like a very, uh, <laughs> fitting extra large. Um, they're more like a legging kind of a pants. Um, but I'll show you, I'll show you everything and you're going to see here the two side by side okay because i took some snapshots of that video and you're going to see me side by side okay so let me get it um it's still very obvious in my apron area 
still very obvious, but I don't know if you could see, but in my legs, definitely much more looser, very comfortable. Um, yeah, definitely much. I, I feel fine with here, with the leg area. I feel very comfortable, but yeah, my apron is definitely going to be something I'm going to have to continually work, but here's the comparison. And then here's the side. My back, my back side, and then this side. And yeah, that's it. But you know, if the top like this, this is a fine, I can wear this because this is fitting me a lot more comfortable here. A lot, a lot more comfortable. I don't know if that you can see that better closer. A lot more comfortable. But there, yeah, I wouldn't wear this like this yet. This is fine with this, like that. Okay, so what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. I'm sitting here with them. They're absolutely fine, comfortable, no problem, no problem. Uh, I forgot to show you, but the waist on these, I mean, you pull the waist and you let it go and it, psh, it comes right back. It, it's pretty uh, intense elastic on the waist, but it, I'm, I'm sitting here totally comfortable totally comfortable. And don't forget guys, when I hit 179 pounds, which is about three pounds away or so, uh, I will do a full on body comparison shot. So whole brand new pictures and we'll do some comparison shots. Okay. And I will be coming this week, hopefully uh, with another vlog video, I'll try to do another one, but cause, because I really, like I said, I really want to bring you more into my day to day, uh, what I'm eating, you know, maybe I'll just do that. Something like that. You know, what I eat in a day, uh, show you a little bit more progress maybe in my eBay because like I said when it comes to eBay it's not so much that I'm trying to share the eBay you know business side of it uh -uh. it's just it's more about the reducing of stress and how I'm working that um, and how that's helping me mentally um, you know feel really good you know so it's a lot of things in my life where I really needed to get in there and 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 tell you know just I needed to tackle a lot of stuff in here um, and I have been, and then putting that to use in, in everything, you know, I had to get better. I needed to understand a lot of things uh, about myself. And now that I have a lot of understanding and I am in a good place and I'm still working at it, I'm implementing it in many parts of my life, many parts. So yeah. Anyways, my friends, that is it. I will be back next week with the Let's Talk, but hopefully I'll record something for you this week as well, okay? All right, guys, talk to you soon. I hope you guys are all doing well in your challenges. I really do. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Bye.